So my background is, I've always been someone that's liked to, to turn the wheels off the pavement. Some of my earliest memories of that are bouncing through forest roads in the UP and in minivans with my dad. Part of getting into the cross track and was so I could do more of that. My previous cross track was not set up quite as well. And so when I had the opportunity to get this one, started to get a little bit more into looking at, you know, what could I do to make it a little bit more capable? One of the things that drove me nuts and kind of the inspiration that started for the rack wing was I had a, a five gallon water tank sitting right behind my seat. And the whole trip, all I could hear was the sloshing of the water. And I kept thinking to myself, okay, that water has got to come out of the inside of the car. I came across a company building something like this for the Forerunner. And for me, I was kind of like, oh, that's what I need. Surely somebody's building that for Subaru, right? But I couldn't find any. So this whole kind of design came from the fact that I knew what I wanted, couldn't find it out in the marketplace. And uh, so I started looking around for ways to build it. And, I, and honestly, I didn't intend to build it as a product and start a company around it. I built it to get a couple of tanks out of the inside of my car. And as soon as I started posting any pictures of it, you know, suddenly people were like, hey, what is that? Where'd you find that? How can I get one? My kind of premise for the design was I wanted something that, like me, the weekend warrior could put on that maybe doesn't want you know, to do the whole aftermarket rack and everything and take off. So if I'm going out on the weekend, put it on, it's a couple bolts, slap it down, connect the suction cup, and there you can carry your tanks, get home from your trip, pop it all off, and you can drive the car to the office the next day. So one of the things when I designed it is I wanted it to be simple to use. If you're in an area where you can't just leave it on, that it comes off quick uh, when you're not using it. So the it's held on simple u boat u bolts two sets so it's it's four bolts to pop it off suction cup is what's securing it keeping it from flapping and so you so you level that out from a mounting standpoint you're going to put the bracket on attach your wing level it so that the suction cup is laying flat and then from there with a little bit of pressure couple of pumps on the suction cup and you're completely secure on the car weight of course is being held at the bracket swing control I guess for lack of a better word is being held on that suction cup and you're ready to go the Rotopax tank is certainly kind of the the main driver for the design but it's not the only thing you can carry on on my rack wing and in fact you can carry two tanks with the Rotopax extender. But so the Rotopax, and if you're not familiar with them, part of why I wanted to, to use these is they're, they're super simple. So with a couple of screws, then the, the whole tank pops right off. And this one, I this one is full of fuel now. So I didn't want to contaminate it by not carrying fuel in it because I, I need to use it. So with multiple tanks, then you, you simply switch it out for something else. So if I'm not gonna need fuel on the trip that I'm on, and I want my water up there, then now I'm now I'm carrying a water tank, simple as that. So if you're not familiar with the Rotopax, that's one of the big cool things about them is the, that ease of modularity. But you can carry other things. So my, my little shovel up here, just simple quick fists. Uh, they've got a whole slew of different sizes. Uh, you can do larger and smaller and so those things just you know mount on anything that that you can get mounted and connected you can carry on it as the user once you uh, once you own it you can certainly attach and do whatever it is that 
you know you need to carry on it that's why the platform is is there and built the way that it is